All right, all right, 62701630, financial assurance, owner and operator. Owner and operator means the additional with the use of the means of the term and any owner of the record of the interest in the land whereon the landfill is or has been located in any person corporation which owns the majority interest in the other corporation which owns the operator of the landfill. The owner and operator identify, uh, identify with the financial assurance documentation that shall be individual registered business entity, non fictitious name, government entity with the permanent application if there are multiple permittees. Only one need to be ended up with the financial assurance documentation. Applicability, the government owned landfill closed on or before October 1st, 1968 sorry, 1988 shall be recognized to comply with the section as its condition with the insurance of a landfill permanent notification authorization expansion owner and operator shall provide with the department which will close your estimates for the permitted portion of landfill as part of the application proof of financial assurance is issued in favor of the Florida Department of Environmental Protection in the amount of the removed current dollar closing and long term care costs as estimate for permitted disposal unit of the determination pursuant to subsection 6270163 for Florida Administration Code shall provide with at least 60 days of the, um, to the plan initial receipt with the waste of such unit of the owner and operator shall maintain financial assurance through the design period of landfill through any corrective action active period and the financial mechanism shall either be one the landfill owned operator with the government agency landfill management um, escrow uh, pay agreement pursuant to the subsection 5 of the section and alternative financial me uh, mechanism pursuant to subsection 6 or Two, the landfill is not owned by the operative government agency. Alternate financial mechanism pursuant to subsection 6 of the section. No solid waste should be stored, disposed of solid waste disposal unit with the permanent you have received. Written approval of the financial assurance of mechanism of the, for the department owners and operators of existing class 1 landfills received the, after the October 9, 1993, are required to undertake corrective action and program under the accordance with subsection 62701.5.10.6 for the Florida Administration Code shall submit the proof of the financial insurance for the department of later no later than 120 days after the corrective action and remedy for the selected cost estimate of the closure for the purpose of determining the amount of the proof of the financial assurance that required for the closure of the section. The owner and operator shall estimate the total cost of the closure current dollar for the time period Landfill owner operator with the, in the, the extent of the manner of the operation making the closing most expensive for the owner and operator shall submit the estimates together with all the necessary justification to the department as part of the permanent application, except as allowed in the six, chapter 62701633D. But the Florida Administration Code shall submit the shall be estimated certified with the professional engineer and third party performing work on the per, per unit basis with the course, um, source of the estimate indicated. B. The closing cost shall be based on the nature, character of the waste disposable of the at the site. It shall include the estimated cost for the cover material, topsoil, seeding, the fertilization, mulching, labor, and any other currents of the compliance with the 62701610610 Florida Administration Codes. Long term care shall include the land, surface care, the gas generator, uh, monitoring, lache pumping, transportation management, and treatment, water quality management, monitoring, co um, collections. Collection and analysis, any other costs of the compliance with the rule 62701620 with the Florida Administration Code, annual cost of lawn care shall be estimated um, listed separately. Multiple new years are required for the long term care. The owner and operator landfill may be used on a site soil rather than off site soil as part of the facility final cover and to fill. Or for other closure, um, other closure construction purposes, calculating the facility closure costs provided with the professional engineer certified the design, designated on-site soils with a sufficient quantity and have been determined to have the suitable properties for their pro for their use. The owner and operator, real property owner, uh, whether different, shall enter the covenant easement and trust in other legal agreement with the department. Any combination thereof that may be needed, which shall be recorded with the run with the land, to ensure a designated on-site soil will be available and accessible with the benefit of the department over the proposed closure related use. The facility. Permit modified to include requirements of this subsection E. The cost, the cost estimate required for this section shall be prepared and submitted with the chat form 62701928 with the closing cost or estimate with the form of the solid waste facility effective of the date of January 6, 2010, hereby adapted and incorporated with the reference copies of this form or available local district office of writing with the Department of Environmental Protection Solid Waste Section MS 4565-2600 Blair Stone Road, Tallahassee, Florida 32399-2400. The owner and operator shall complete keep the last closure of the cost estimate facility with the estimate that has been adjusted in accordance with paragraph 4A with the section the latest adjusted closure cost estimate shall be kept in um, facility cost adjustment and closures. A. Every owner of the operative landfill shall annually adjust the closure cost and the inflation, su inflation submitted with the updated information of the, to the department closure and long care costs shall be listed separately for the owners and operators using an alternate financial mechanism. The statement shall be submitted with January 1st and March 1st of each year. The owners and operators using the escrow payment with this statement shall be submitted with July 1st and September 1st of each year. The paragraph does not um, prohibit the owner 
owner and operator for submitting the other information, updating the closure cost estimate at the times of the year. Such adjustments shall be made either by recalculating the total cost of the closure of long care and current docular specified in subsection 3 of this section using inflation factor derived with the most re recent implicit price deflator in the grass national product published by the U.S. Department of Commerce survey of the current business and specified in subparagraph 4, A, 2, A, and B of the section inflation, inflation factor as a result of dividing in the last um, published an annual deflator and by the deflator of the previous year. The first adjustment is by multiplying the cores, closure of long-term costs and the inflation, inflation factor as a result of the adjusting closure of long-term cost estimate. Subsequent adjustments are made multiplying the last adjustment closure of long-term cost estimate by the latest inflation factor. Be at the time of the permit renewal every fifth year when a permit is issued with during the gra duration greater than the five years, the owner and operator shall revise the cost estimate. The vision shall be made recalculating the total closure of the long care term and costs and current dollar as specified in subsection 3. In addition with the requirements of paragraph A and B of the section, the owner and operator shall revise the closure cost estimate, recalculating the total closure of long term care and current dollars and specified in subsection 3 of this section and following se situation prior any of the changes of closing long term care to the within the 30 days of the discovery that any of the anticipated cost of the former basis for the current improved closure costs estimate had been significantly Within 30 days of the issuance of the own order, the department finding the facility has exceeded any of the permitted dimensions. The if the value of the alternating fund mechanism is less than the total amount of the close, current closure cost estimate, the owner and the operator revise the funding mechanism to reflect the newest estimate of the time frames outlined in Title 42 at CFR Part 264, Subpart H, Landfill Management Escrow Account. The owner and the operator with the landfill zone with the operator with the government agency shall be fee with the free, shall establish a fee and subcharge of the existing fee. Other appropriate revenue, revenue producing mechanisms to ensure availability of financial resources for the proper closing and long-term care of the landfill. The revenue producing the mechanism shall produce the revenue at the recent rate sufficient great funds to meet the state landfill closure requirements. C. The revenue shall be deposited with the interest um, be bearing screw account with the financial institutions such as bank and trust. The operation were regulated and examined by the federal state agencies or deposited with the department in the department approved with the investment pool created by the state of Florida local governments at the primary objective of liquidate Equity and preservation of the principal, the owner and operator shall follow the department and sign duplicate original escrow of agreement with the annual, annual audit of the account. The audit shall be conducted with an independent certified public accountant and shall be filed no later than March 31st of the following year. The audit shall identify where the funds of the deposit and give the landfills management escrow account and balance as of the end of the fiscal year and itemization facility amounts with restricted for the closing and long-term care. The audit shall reference subsection 6270 Five, um, the escrow arrangement shall include the list of data deposited with it, withdrawal made. D, the payments in the landfill the escrow um, account shall be made with the owner and operator at least annually. The first payment must be made with the, before the end of the fiscal first fiscal year. Initial um, receipt with the solid waste for the landfill. The notice for the show such for the payment shall be submitted to the department. Subsequent payments must be made over the term of the active life of the landfill. The calculation for such an annual payment shall be determined using the following method. Pay-in method or C equals CE um, minus CV time, divide, um, times Y or divided by Y for the C, the current dollar closing of the cost estimate beginning with the official year of later than submitted with the pursuant to the four C of the selection. CV is the current value of the escrow account with the beginning with the official year. Y is the number of years in the design life of the landfill being filled in the official year of the balance of the manual. Balance method minimum for the official year of the account with the CE times DE times DLE um, and minus E. Um, the approved the current with the dollar um, calling closing costs of the solid waste disposal of the group units for the beginning with the fiscal year of the later submitted with the pursuant to paragraph 4C of this section. DE is the design life of the exhaustion with the solid waste disposal unit and the group units as in the period of the time of the initial receipt of the waste and for the current official year end. The DL is the design life solid waste disposal unit of the group of the units in the period of the time of the initial receipt of the waste plan and end receipt of the waste and must be re um, assessed annually with the closure cost estimating form with the escrow account with the trust to fund and pay and period and use E, the all the documents closed in the expenditure to the day. So waste disposal unit and group of the units expense of identified with the official year and end of the audit being occurred with the closing, maintaining the landfill identified with the closure plan and the use of the use of the formula requires to continue throughout the remaining of the design of the life in the phase. In the event of official year and audited accounts may exceed the minimum required balance of the owner operator may remove the excessive 
funds um, to the foreign government owner and operator of the land uh, owner uh, the owner uh, the government owned landfill for the owner and operator should deposit for the escrow account at the time of the closing of each of their year thereafter sufficient funds to cover the following year long term care costs in addition with the owner and operator must document specifically how they intend to finance the long term care of the to, of the landfill as part of the closure plan the landfill is not owned by a government agency the long term care cash shall include the closing cost estimate as specified in subparagraph one above the long term care cost must be fully in the landfill closed because the owner and operator may accelerate the payments and landfill management escrow payment uh, account with the make deposits the full amount of the current closure estimate at the time of the account is established. All right, E, the owner and operator may be expenditure for the account of the accumulated interest for the purpose of landfill closing and land care, um, long-term care of the self-expenditure. Do not deplete with the fund of the deteriorate of value and eventual cause, closing and long-term care for the planning of the construction resource for the recovery of the landfill facility. And the owner and operator does not operate landfill. Then funding the remaining with the account of the after the pump, paying with the property and the completing of the closing and long-term care to determine by the department shall be deposited by the owner and operator in the general fund of the local of government of the jurisdiction. The revenue generated with the subsection accumulated to the interest there on upon uh, do the payment or or pledge the security for the payment of the revenue bonds issued with the whole part of the purpose complying with the state landfill closing and long care term requirements such application and pledge and pledge may be made directly with the proceeding authorizing such bonds in an agreement with the insurer bonds to assure the insurer the additional security therefore the owner and operator of any landfill has established escrow account with the January 1st 2007 they may continue to use the escrow account to provide financial assurance and the closure of the landfill even the landfill is not owned with the operator with the government agency the alternative proof of the financial assurance the appropriate form parts of this form 62701- 905 financial mechanisms of solid waste management requiring closure and corrective action. Solid waste facility irre irrevocable letter of credit. Solid waste financial guarantee bond. Financial performance. Solid waste fi performance bond. Solid waste ins facility insurance certificate. Solid waste fi facility financial test. Solid waste facility corporate guarantee. Solid waste tr facility trust fund agreement. Solid waste um, facility stand by the front. Trust fund, um, effective date of the January, February 15, 2005, um, 2015, have it adopted and incorporated the reference shall be used and originally signed and duplicates and submitted when demonstrating the proof of the financial assurance for the section copy of the forms of the available for the local district office by the written Department of Environmental Energy Protection Solid Waste um, Section M, uh, MS number 4562, uh, sorry, 4565, 2600 Blairstone Road, Tallahassee, Florida, Railroad, uh, 320, 3, 3230, and uh, 399-2400 of the Department of State, Florida U.S. Waste Quick Topics Forms, page 62701. The proof of the financial assured under the subsection includes surety of bonds and um, certificates, deposits, and letters, credit for the last and bond trust agreement, closures, and excluding independent procurement. The final testing of the corporate guarantee shall owner of the operative have sufficient financial responsibility to cover a uh, minimum of the cost of complying with the state landfills closing long term requirements, if applicable, the cost of the corrective within such a proof of the financial assurance is to surety bond letters and credit for the trust fund agreements closure and issuance of the final as in corporate guarantee shall prove the submitted with the forms provided with the department of course with requirements of paragraph b and d with the subject and if the proof of the financial assurance the security of the certificates these instruments must be used in conjunction with the trust fund should be submitted directly to the trustee the owner and operator shall estimate the cost of the pursuant to subsection three and four of the section Financial institution must include the legal entity name, not just the trademark finish name of the financial assurance form. The Title 40 CFR Part 264, Subpart H, contains the Environmental Protection Agency's rules, financial requirements for the owner and operator of the hazardous waste facility. The here adopted the financial requirements for the purposes of the section incorporated with references to the rules appear in Title 40 CFR Part 264, revised in July 1st, 2013. The following sections of Title 40 CFR Part 264, Subpart H, are specifically not adapted as part of the rule 264 140 a, B, D, and 264, 141, A, E, 264, 142, B, C, and, and then B3, 2, C, and then C3, 2, C, D3, C, 2, C, and F1. 264, or 264, um... 264-144-B, 264-144-C, 264-145-B3, 2C, 264-145-C3, 2C, 264-145-D3, 2C, 264-145-F1, 264-147, 264-149, 264-150, 264-156, 264-167, 264-168, 264-169, 264-170, 264-171, 264-172, 264-173, 264-174, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 264-175, 
All references to Title 40 CFF R Part 265, all the reference subsection of the Title 40 CFF R Part 264, not contained in Subpart H, all the reference to the Environmental Protection Agency Regency, all the references to the RC RCRA when referring to the landfills of party with the government agency, the reference to Title 40 CFR 264, 143 with the F1 and 264, 145 for F1 should be the paragraph um, 62, 701, 30, 30, 60C. 6C, the F, it's the Voting Administration Code for the Title 40 CFR Part 264, Subpart 8 in the United States Environmental Protection Agency, should be the State of Florida Department of Environmental Action Agency. Agency Emergency A, Environmental Protection Regional Minister shall ma um, mean the Secretary of the Department of the Secretary of Written Design A with the RCRA um, permits shall be in solid waste and permits of the post closure shall mean long term long term care and as applicable to the Environmental Protection Agency identification number shall mean the Department of Identification number the hazard waste shall mean solid waste the hazard waste treatment stores and the disposal shall mean landfill section 3008 through RCRA shall um, mean the Federal Department of Environmental Protection Agency action circular 70 of the U.S. Department of the Treasury shall mean the circular 570 of the U.S. Department of the Treasury license to do business in the state of Florida to meet. The must the establishment must mean the establishment maintain the both closure and post closures all the meaning cost of lung care and home care corrective action any combination thereof and one or more of the states shall be made in the state of Florida. Three financial insurance reimbursed will go towards the covering and all the parts of the cost of facility required action closing and long term of the corrective action is identified with the first page with the trust fund insurance of the certificate regardless of the actual cost estimate calculation when the department dep directs the financial institution for the payment of the reimbursement of the payment of the reimbursement to be with sent within 30 days of the receipt of the direct department's direction unless the communication department authorized delay of the trust fund period period shall not exceed five years schedule A with the trust agreement must be updated during the payment with when corrective action is selected within any part of the state form six Two seven zero one nine hundred five of the Title Forty CFR two sixty four one forty five reference to the post closure shall mean the corrective action is applicable. C an owner and operator must satisfy the requirements of the subsection passing of the financial testing using this form sixty two seven zero one nine hundred five E. The financial testing shall cover the last uh, latest provided estimate and subsequent estimates for the higher to pass. The owner and operator must read the criteria for the either the subparagraph one and two of the file. The owner and operator must have one of the two of the following ratios: a ratio less than one point five, comparing the total liabilities net worth of the radio ratio greater than the tenth of comparing, comparing subs net income pet plus depreciation deple depletion and harmonization minus ten million dollars to the total liabilities Networking capital at least three times the sum of the required um, action. The tangible net worth greater than sum of the, of the required action of plus $10 million or less three of the sum of the required with action, whichever the greater assets located in the United States amount, leading to less than three times the sum of the required action the owner and operator must have with the bound issues and the secured and unsecured having the redemption due to the eight less of the five years remaining unsecured bond rating of the must be eight rating of the BBB. Better the issue with the standard um, poor bond rating the service of the BAA2. Better is issued by the the Moody's bond rating so for the facilities that was using the standard secure bond must demonstrate the department underlying the senior's unsecured bond the rating of the sign with the standard or pores and BBB or better is the sign with the Moody's or BAA2 better. Tangible net worth of the sum of the required for the action of $2 billion, $10 billion at least three times the sum of the required action whichever is greater. Assets located in the United States amounting with less at least three times the sum of the required action government owned facilities and providing with the proof of the financial assurance the union financial test must send the updated information Information outlined in Title 40 CFR 264-143-5F and 264-145-5F. The department within the 108 days after the closing succeeding official year and an operator with the operator with the using insurance policy financial assurance that must establish maintain standardized standby trust fund that meets the requirements of Title 40 CFR 264-143-B3 and 264-145-B3. Um, the insurance of policy must be provided with upon the written direction of the security of the department and the security is written does need the entire face of the amount of the policy. Least of the amounts of previously paid out of the requirements of Title 40 CFR Part 264 Subpart H will be placed in the trust fund to be used by the department for the closure and corrective action activities. One closure and the corrective action is complete and the money remaining in the trust fund will be returned to the insurer. Direction to the payment of the trust fund must proceed. One or more of the following the Florida Department of Environmental action agency, um, Protection Agency um, deems the facility abandoned, um, abandoned the permanent determination revoked or new permanent is denied. Closure is ordered by the Florida Department of Environmental Protection Agency, U.S. District Court or other court or competent jurisdiction. The owner operative near named debitor of the voluntary involuntary proceeding of the Title 11 bankruptcy of the United States Code. The insurer elected with the subsequent collection um, cancelization termination failure to renew the policy notice of the coordinates with the provision in Title 40 CFR 264-143, the ED and 264-145-E8. To ensure the failed and provided with the alternative financial assurance for 90 days after the day of the notice of the termination, cancellation 
administration failure to new the policy received um, the insured with the Florida Department of Environmental Protection Agency. Designee, sorry. Um, cost them this corrective action and owner rapid landfill required with the established financial assurance with the corrective action program pursuant to paragraph 2D of the section shall have the detailed written estimate and the current dollars estimated with the certified with the professional engineer of the cost of the hiring with the third party to perform the corrective action in accordance with subsection 62701510.6 for the Florida administration go with the corrective action of the cost estimate must account with the total cost of the corrective action activities described in the corrective action plan entire with the corrective action period the owner and operator shall submit the estimate together with the necessary justification including sources of the estimate indicated with the Department approval along with the proof of the financial assurance. A, the cost and adjustment corrective action. A, the owner shall annually adjust the estimate of the inflation change for the corrective action plan until the corrective action plan is completed with accordance with subsection 6270115106. The six. inflation adjustment plan esti adjustment estimates shall be submitted within the time frames designated with the paragraph 4A, but the section adjustment shall be made either by one recalculating the maximum cost of the corrective action current dollar and specified in subsection 7 of the section by using inflation derived with the most of the and recent impact of the price defilator crossing the gross national product with the published by the U.S. Department of Commerce and the survey of the current business specified with the subparagraph A and B with the follows. The inflation is the result of dividing last published annual deflator with the deflator of the previous year. The first adjustment is made by multiplying the corrective action cost estimation by the inflation factor. The result is adjusted corrective action cost estimate. Subsequent ad adjustments are made by the multiplying last adjusted corrective action cost estimate by the latest inflation factor. At the time of the permit, the um, renewal of every the five year, fifth year when the permit is issued with a duration of greater than five years, the corrective action plan is modified during the corrective action period. The owner operator shall provide the corrective action cost estimate revision shall be made as submitted with the specified in paragraph AA1 of the use of the cost estimate submitted with the accordance with subsection U for the basis comparison with or against the balance of the funding of the mechanism specified in subsection 9 of the section does not constitute the estimate approval to the owner and operator shall keep the loss of the corrective action cost estimate when the estimate has adjusted in accordance with the paragraphs AA of this section. The latest adjusted corrective action cost estimate of the facility owner of the corrective action is complete. The 9 financial assurance of the corrective action. A, the, um, for the government-owned landfills, the owner and operator which will demonstrate the proof of the financial assurance for the corrective action with the department to identify the revenue service of establishing the escrow account as specified in paragraph 5C with this section using the one of the approved the alternating mechanism specified in subsection 6. Payments in the landfill management of the screw shall be made with the owner and operator according to one of the following. The owner and operator shall deposit the landfill of the screw with the full cost associated with the corrective action remedy within 120 days of the corrective action remedy selected. If the local government documentation is specific and non general revenue so adequate for the cover of the cor corrective action cost the only portion of the corrective action to be taken in the following year and um year and be not be be funded all right, for, for privately owned um, landfills, owner and operator shall demonstrate the proof of the financial assurance of the corrective action with the department using the approved alternative mechanism, subsection 6 of this section. The trust fund is used the first payment of the trust to be at least equal to one half of the current cost estimate of the corrective action. The amount of the subsequent payment must be determined in the following form. And the next payment equals RB times minus CYV divided by Y. The RB is the most recent estimate required with the trust fund with the corrective action. The total cost will incur with the during the second half of the corrective action period. CV is the current value of the trust fund and Y is the number of years remaining in the pay period that in the pay period one half of the estimated length of the corrective action plan program. 10. If long term is scared between, um, because the permit is, has been failed to permit the all, re all required monitoring maintenance financial assurance shall continue to require that during the extended long care of the long term care extended for any of the region financial assurance is not required during the extended long term care period except as provided required in subsection 7 of, through 9 of this section. Rule making authority 403704 Florida State Law implemented 403704, 403707, 403712 The Florida State History News. Um, July 1st, 1984, formally 1770.076, November 28th, 1989, formally 1770.076, amended January 6th, 1993, January 2nd, 1994, May 19th, 1994, formally 1770.1630, amended with May 27th, 01, um, January 6th, 2010, August 12th, 2012, and February 15th, 2015. All right, we got five pages. Um, all 
All right, um, 62701710 Waste um, Processing Facilities. The applicability section applied for the solid waste management of the process of the design disposable of the solid waste on site that includes material recovery of the cost. Facility and transfer station does not include the oil processing facilities, waste tire processing facilities, soil waste treatment facilities, yard trash and processing facilities that may, uh, meet the registration requirements of 6709320 with the solid waste composition, composed, 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 composting facilities at each of the was regulated under the separate rules. Solid waste Combustors will require the um, permits under this section on any of the storage of the process can be disposable operations that are directly addressed within another department of the permit that certification specified in 6270 a and B of the Florida Administration Court with the paragraph 6270 c Owners operating the facility will manage for the several different types of the ways of the issue for the oil and waste tires combination. Soil compost may all apply with a single merit will which addresses the applicable requirements. No person shall construct and operate the waste of the process facility with a permanent issue for the department of the following type of the facilities are not subject to the requirements of a facility section. The facility shall be operated with the minimized discharge lache environmental to control the objection, order litter, litter, and, litter and dust and other fatigue particles. Facilities compromised with solely with green box compactor units with permanent dumpsters and other containers from which the waste is transported with the landfill other solid waste mass facility, which does not accept the commercial waste haulers, but the accept the waste for the multiple generations. Two, the facility owner operated with local governments will serve at the drop-off points for the household waste of the provided with the facility except for the household waste, which may Include the we are trash the um, um, all purchasable waste, household garbage, garbage, trash, other waste that may be produced, lash and canonized. The facility does not accept the waste, commercial waste, hauling for the collect of the municipal solid waste for the multiple generators. The household has its waste for the collection center operated with exclusively on the behalf of the local government. For the um, facility's industrial operation, where the waste of the store with the prior to the shipment of the solid waste facility, where the industrial byproducts is segregated with the manage provided with the industrial operation regulated with the department and permanent service. Certification facility. This facility used solely with the temporary storage road maintenance to buy the product, which include the street sweeping, the ditches scrapping, and the shoulder scrapping, the cache base, and sediment provided the materials required screening as well as separated with the class one store ways shall be stored in the lache and litter are controlled. Examples would include the storage of the covered the run wall offs and the storage of the impervious sources under the roof of the storage indoors. The underscreen material that will be beneficial to you with the disposal as soon as practical, but must be stored with no longer than three months unless the longer the storage time is the department. Um, C1, the storage of the separated with the material shall dispose of the permanent facility at least we, at least weekly and screen materials. Materials that do not require screening should be stored for no longer than six months unless the longer the storage is approved of the department of the following facility types are subject to special requirements or exempt from some of the requirements of the section transfer station except for the primary household waste, commercial solid waste, recovered materials, construction, demolition debris, and the manage, management waste of the first and the first out basis for the store with, with such waste is not greater than seven days or exempt from the requirement uh, of the provided financial assurance the set forth in subsection 7 of this section. Also exempt from the requirement of also the train spotter to set forth in paragraph 6270-1710-4C for the Florida Administration Codes. Two, the waste processing facility except for the construction, demolition, debris, except for the requirements to provide the last shake control system set forth in paragraph 3B with the section that provided with all the areas where the waste is stored and processed covered with the groundwater monitoring system which meets the requirements of subsection 6270-1730-8 of the Florida Administration Codes of the technical report paragraph 6270-1510-8B of the Florida Administration goes not require the facility operated without the last shake control system shall perform condensation contamination evaluation as part of the closure activity that shall continue to operate with the water quality monitoring system the evaluation in case of potential groundwater contamination. Waste pr- process facilities are except for the only the class three waste of exempt for the required for the provided the last shake program is set forth in paragraph three of the section provided with the areas of waste and the received under the roof and in previous surface of the all the areas of waste of the store process and covered with the groundwater monitoring system which Meets the requirements of subsection 6270-1738 and except for the technical report paragraph 6270-1510-8B of the Florida Administration Code of the facility that operates without the lash head control system shall perform the contamination evaluation part of the closure activities shall continue with the operating with the water quality monitoring system evaluation and indicating the potential for the groundwater contamination waste to energy facility exempt with the required for the train operative the train spotted for the four then with the paragraph 6270-1710-4C of the Florida Administration Code of the design except for the such facility for the operator or owner training the Set forth in other r- department rules. The application permit application waste processing facility shall be submitted with the form 6270-1904 for the application construction operation modifying waste processing facility plan effective within v- day, February 15, 2015. Hereby adopted and incorporated in the reference copy from the available local district office writing the Department of Environmental Protection and Solid Waste and for MS 4565-2600 Blairstone Road, Tallahassee 32, uh, Florida 32399-2400 with the form that indicates the facility that will operate with the material to recover the 
facility transfer station, some of the other type of the processing facilities, some combination thereof shall be signed and sealed with the professional engineer subsection 62701 through 256 and in paragraph 8 and A, if they apply with this application, the application must meet the requirements of 62701 327 except for the paragraphs E through H for the subparagraph 7 F4 must also include the following A, the description of the operation facility, include the type of the materials, the waste, the recyclable materials, recovered materials, and to be managed with the process, except the daily average maximum weight of the volume of the materials managed and processed, how the material will be managed and processed, how the materials will flow through the facility, including the location, loading, unloading, sorting, and processing, storage, the type of the equipment that will be used, the maximum time of the material will be stored in the facility, the maximum amount of the waste of recyclable materials, recovered materials that will be stored at the facility at one time, expected disposition materials after leaving the facility, the site plan scale not greater than 200 feet and inches shall show the facility location, total acreage of the site, any other relevant feature of the water bodies, wetlands within 200 feet of the site, portable water wells within 500 feet of the site, a boundary survey, legal description um, of the property, a construction plan including the ag engineering calculation described, the application will comply with the design at requirement subsection 6270-1710 Florida Administration Code, operation plan describes how the application will comply with the subsection 6270-1710-4 the, and record keeping the re requirements of subsection 6270-1710-8 of Florida Administration Codes. If a closure plan described the applicant will comply with the subsection 6270-1706 for the contingency plan for the described the application will comply with 6270-1326 Florida Administration of the final assurance of the documentation but is required with the subsection 6270-1707. Designing requirements of minimum designing requirements for the waste processing um, facilities as follows. The stripping, the processing, sorting of the storage compaction areas are not exclosed, enclosed, but they should be equipped with the litter to control device. The facility shall not be designed with the lash control system prevented to shard lash aid, avoiding mixing the lash aid with the storm water minimizing the present presence of sand warning provision sand should be made with the evaluating quantity of all the incoming solid waste recovered material storage areas should be designed to hold the expected value materials that are transported and disposal recycling for operational requirements, all operational with the conductor and requirements with the approved operation plan of the department shall be notified before any of the substantial revision of the approval of the operation plan will be implemented in order to determine whether the department notification is required. Stored per, 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 per receptacle waste should not be allowed remaining unprocessed for more than 48 hours. However, the operation plan includes provision for the control vectors ordered in the per, per, petro receptacle waste may be stored up to seven days. Any authorized waste received the facility shall be segregated and transported, transported to authorized disposal receiving the facility within 30 days. The operators and spotters should be trained within accordance with the subject 6270 uh, A trained operator shall be on duty whenever the facility is operating with the owning or operational post of the facility. Um, at least one of the train spotters shall duty on uh, duty on all times. The tip waste is received with the inspector within coming cost of all the incoming costs shall be waste. Inspector and unauthorized waste shall be removed. The waste seam and the place in the um, appropriate containers for the disposal permitted the facility in course with the schedule submitted with the after the operation plan of the facility shall be operated with the control objecting objectionable, objectionable orders in course with the paragraph 6296 of Florida Administration Code. Adequate fire protection shall be available at all times. Accessible facilities should be controlled with the design period of the facility fencing and other effective barriers. For any disposal and unauthorized um, ways. AG, the all the drains, the last shape conveyances which shall be maintained with the last shape flow and the impediment that if any of the regulated hazard waste is discovered in proper deposit and with the facility, the facility operator shall promptly notify the department of the personal responsibility of shipping the waste of the facility, generate the waste, and if known, they are the waste of the deposit immediately can be corned or, corned, quartered or off the public access. The generator and hauler may be identified with the facility operator and also ensure the cleanup, transportation, disposable waste, and permit of the hazardous waste facilities. All right, the, uh, the facility reached for the permanent capacity storage waste with the receptacle materials, the per, uh, recyclable materials, the permanent solution not accept the additional waste of processing sufficient capacity, but the, has been restored. Five certification, certification, construction, completion shall be done with the accordance paragraph 6270 329 and B of the Florida Administration Code requirement. Recorded drawings, relevant and construction details submitted along with the certification clo six closure requirements. The owner operator shall notify the department in writing of the prior to the ceasing operation shall specify the closing date. No waste shall be received by the facility after the closing date. Within 30 days of the receiving of the final solid waste shipment, the owner and operator shall remove the otherwise disposed of all the solid waste residual accordance with the approved closure plan structural protrusible waste shall be continued and managed in accordance with paragraph 6270-1710-4B with the Florida Administration Codes. Three, the closure will be completed with 100 days after the receiving of the final solid waste shipment. The closure will include the removal of all the recovered materials from the site as well as the performing contamination evaluation requirements of paragraph 6270-1710-1D and 2. But the owner operator will certify the writing with the department when closure is completed. Seven, the financial assurance. 
Closure cost estimate estimate updates financial mechanisms should comply with the provisions of subsection 6270 630 1 through 4 and exempt and Florida administration codes exempt for the long term cannot be included but the cost shall be based on compliance with the section of the trust fund is using the full amount of the current closing estimate but the must be deposited in the time funding of the requirement of the escrow account is using the facial year end of the escrow balance and with the must cover the entire waste of the processing and five facility closing cost estimate landfill disposal unit shall mean facility. Uh and the additional exemption provided with the subparagraph 1D1 of the section of the standalone willing waste processing facility is exempt with the requirement of the provided proof of the financial assurance of the long care of the current dollar department approved with the closing cost estimate is less than $10,000. If local government requires financial assurance for the closure with the less than stringent the required with the subsection paragraph, the um, subsection of the department will establish the uh, establish cooperative mechanism for the local government, thereby avoid the duplicate of financial requirements. Record keeping operational required records shall be maintained, including the daily log of the quantity of solid waste received, the process stored and removed from the, the site, recycling disposable county with the origin waste, and if known, but the record shall include each of the solid waste recovered materials, residual, unexpected waste, which is processed, recycled, and disposed of such. Um, this should be complied on a monthly basis. And should be available to the inspection of the department. Records shall be retained in the facility for three years. B. The department owner of the facility which um, recycles the construction and demolition debris shall be submitted with the annual report of the department of the form 62701907 with the annual report of the construction and demolition debris facility effective today, um, January 6th of 2010, hereby adopted and incorporated the reference copy of this form available for the local district office writing to the Department of Environmental Protection Solid Waste Section MS4565-2600 Blairstone Road, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-2400. But the the um, report was included the summary amount of the type of the waste and disposal of the recycle of the county of the origin materials, but to recycle the same the county of the origin is unknown, but it shall be included with the report. The report shall be submitted with a little later than February 1st of each of the year. Shall cover the precedent calendar. Alternate procedure the owner and operator facility must request the alternate procedure with my requirements in accordance with the rule 6270 uh, Florida Administration go out with the request based on the nature of the waste except for the facility. For example, if the facility accepted the only segregated waste which accepted to have minimal environmental impact, the request would be submitted to and acted on the appropriate district office of department as part of the permanent application modification needed to be accompanied with the by additional fee. All right, 10, the general permit for the indoor waste of the processing facility. General permit that is hereby granted for the person of the operating waste processing facility to which over the incoming solid waste and stored processing indoors that has been constructed in conformance with the permit institute for the permit um, pursuant to the selection will be operated in accordance with the same criteria with the set forth in rule 62.4.540 and 62.701.300 Florida Administration Code to this section qualify the general permit of the facility that must comply with the following. When the facility is designed for the incoming of the, uh, to have all incoming waste tips and sorted with the process indoor the facility has been constructed with lache control system to prevent damage of lache, avoiding machine m mixture of lache with the storm oil, minimize pressure of the standard wise standing water. Three storage areas designed to hold the expected um, volume of the materials until they are transferred to disposal of the recycling recovered the materials, yard trash, untreated wood may be stored outside of the receptacle materials separated with the income of the waste stream that may be stored and uh, outside of the roll off of the containers provided with the covered and be the notification. Notification any person with the operating indoor waste of the processing pursuant to the subsection shall notify the department of the form 62701934 notification intent with the general program of the indoor worry processing facility. Um, Florida rules to or gateway reference ASP number the reference 01481 effective with August 2012 hereby adopted and incorporated with the reference copies of this form available with the local district writing with the Department of Environmental Protection Solid Waste section MS 4565-2600 Blair Stone Road, Tallahassee, Florida 32399-2400. The each of the notification shall include the certification facility has been constructed in accordance with the criteria subsection following the description of the facility complies with the paragraph 6270-1710-A2A Florida Administration Code. Operation plan complies with the paragraph 6270-1710-2400. A Florida administration goal. The closure plan complies with the 6270-1710-25-2F um, Florida administration contingency plan complies with the 6270-1710-2G with the Florida administration codes. All right, see the facility um, information. Um, this submitted with the Department of Store and Department most recent construction and operation permit, which still valid but does not read need to be resubmitted with the notification. Notification shall list the affirm uh, reaffirm the information still vo valid. Other requirements of permit shall comply with the requirements of subject in six two seven oh one seven ten four six and eight of the Lord Administration because all the transfer um
All the trains for station of the consolidated waste directly with one mobile container vehicle and another mobile container vehicle's exemption requirements of the subsection provided the owner and operator notify the department renews the existing notification July 1st of each of the year form 6270-1903-35 notification of containers and container waste transfer facility Florida Rules Gateway and the reference number the 01482 effective August 2012 hereby adopt and incorporate the reference copies of forms available to the local district writing the Department of Environmental Protection Solid Waste MS 4565 Blair Road Stone Road Tallahassee 32399 Site plan showing the property and area where the transfer operation conducted shall include the accordance with the direction 6270-1935. The facility is operated with a minimized discharge of lache, environmental control, objection to orders, and litter and dust and other fugitive particles. Only construction and demolition debris of class 3 solid waste is accepted at the facility. Waste is stored on only on only in a mobile container of the vehicle that is not stored in place to locate it the ground within the mobile container with the structure of the tipping of the floor. No solid waste, including the waste of mobile containers of the vehicle, stored in the facility on any adjacent property for more than 7 days. The largest mobile container vehicle on site with the use of the consolidation transfer does not mo hold more than 40 cubic yards, no greater than... Um, no more than 10 mobile containers of vehicles containing the waste of recovered materials. No more than 200 cubic, cubic yards of waste of recovered materials are stored in the facility at once. One time, no more than 150 cubic feet of the yards must be may be received at the facility during the each of the calendar month. The waste received at the facility have been collected by the owner and operator shall not received from any of the third party handler hauler of the waste. Each mobile container of the vehicle received in the store of the facility owned and leased for the operator of the facility. The operational record shall be maintained on site. Documentation quantity of the cubic yards was rece waste received, stored and removed from the site where and was sent recycling disposal. Such a record shall be retained at the facility for three years. Rulemaking authority for 4030614037040 the Florida law implemented 4030204037044037074 Florida history news May 27th 2001 amended January 6 2010 August 12th 2012 and 2 February 15th 2015 All right, six two seven one seven thirty construction demolition debris disposal um, recycling. Applicably, no person shall construct operate with the closing off site for the construction demolition debris disposal facility without permit of the issue of the department. All of the construction operation permits issued issue with the prior to January sixth, two thousand ten, with the name, with the condition, the conformance for those in the chapter shall apply with the modification to permit to conform to this chapter. The district office of the department will that is issued with the permit. The submission shall occur with the time of the application for renewal of the existing permits before the July fifth, two thousand ten, whichever is easier for the purpose of the pair of the permit issued with the prior to January sixth. 2010 is deemed included with the complete with the paramount and received with the department prior to the January 6, 2010. However, the provision of the paragraph 40 of this section will not apply with any disposal unit facility required with the department permit authorization and construction operation prior to January 6, 2010. After the applicable complete compliance dental guidelines specified with the above, facility shall operate in the corner of the provision and section. However, any disposal received with a significant amount of the waste according to the condition of the permit prior to the applicable compliance deadline is not required to comply with any of the sitting construction design requirements of the chapter where they are not effective with prior to the applicable compliance. For the deadline for the purpose of the subsection is one the significant amount of the waste means the disposable unit received the su su sufficient waste for disposal in accordance with the normal operation plan so that it is impractical to remove the waste, relocate the reconstruction of the disposable sitting, and the construction design requirements do not include the hydrogeological investigation required by the Sumbay area of 6270-1732A of the 3 of the Florida Administration Code's Water Quality Monitoring Plan requirements of subsection 6270-1738 with the application permanent application offsite construction demolition debris disposable facility disposal unit and lateral expansion of Shall be submitted with paragraph 6270-1906. The application for the construction operating modification of the construction demolition debris disposal disposal of the recycling facility effective date of the January 12, 11, 2015. Hereby adopted and incorporated in the reference copy of the form available with the local district office by the written Department of Environmental Protection Solid Waste and 4565 Blair Stone Road, Tallahassee, Florida 32399-2400. With the application conformance requirements subsection 6270-1320 for the 5 and 6 and 7 and 8A. All applications shall include the information paragraph of the B and 5 of the 
B and F of the subsection the application of construction laterally expended. The disposal shall also include the information in paragraph A of the subsection A energy engineering report signed by the seal with the professional engineer includes the site plan and the scale of not greater than 200 feet of the in, to the engine and show the projection of land location identified with the proposed disposal total acreage for the site and the proposed disposal unit any of the other relevant feature for the water body for the land, land within 200 feet of the site with not potable water wells within 500 feet of the site. The geotechnical investigation which meets the rules of the criteria 16701410. The hydrogeological investigation meets, meets the criteria of rules of paragraph 62701410 2A and C and D. The estimate the plan of the activity facility design with the disposal area, final design height and facility, the maximum height of the facility during the operation documentation facility location complied with the requirements of paragraph 62701730 4C and D of the Florida Administration Code Boundary and Survey Legal Description Topographical Survey Property and Operational Plan describing the application compliance with subsection 62701737 and which must be the initiate include the procedures of emergency, emergency prepared respondents required by the paragraph 62701320.16. Closure plan that describes how the application complied with the subsection 62701730 and 10. The final financial assurance documentation required with the subsection 62701730.11 of the Florida Administration Code. The CCA treated wood management plan is required by 62701732.20. The certification, cer um, certification, certification, construction, completion shall be done in accordance with the paragraph 62701320 of the 9B of the Florida Administration Code. General requirements except the specified subsection rule requirements. Rule 62701330 and 62701630 does not apply with the construction, demolition, debris of disposal fa facility. No solid waste for the other construction demolition debris shall be disposed of the construction demolition debris disposable facility waste material the waste processing facility which mixed in the class one class three facility waste either before and after the processing is not considered with the construction demolition debris may be not accepted in disposal construction and demolition debris disposal facility. No solid waste disposal unit should be located within a hundred year of the flood plan with where the restrict of the flow of the hundred year flow plan reduce the temporary water storage capacity flood plan unless the compensation storage is provided with the result of the washout for the above grade disposal of the minimum horizontal separation between the waste disposal area. And the site proper property boundary with it shall be with 100 feet measured for the top of the toe of the proposed final covered slope. Horizontal plow, um, boundary of the waste disposal authorized with the construction operation plan with clearly delineated semi permanent markers such as bowl, bowl, bowlers, posting fences, signs, and other operations concerning the daily basis whether or not the facility is exceeding permanent dim, um, dimension. Five stormwater stormwater above ground disposal of the design of any of the feature intended to convey the stormwater is permitted with the exempt the treatment that shall include with the solid waste per structure permit the sixth the design requirements of the new disposal unit is the, which for each lateral expansion of the existing disposal unit is not required with the department permit authorizing construction operation prior to the July first two thousand ten construction with the linear last shake collection system unless the application demonstrates based on the type of the waste with the received the method of controlling the type of the waste that is disposed with the practices many of the groundwater surface water with the result of the hydrogeological geotechnical investigation. Um, including the groundwater monitoring analysis of the operation facility is not expected to result in the violation of the groundwater standard with the criteria otherwise. The linear system shall consider the least of the 60, 60 mil minimum average thickness for the HGP E um, geomembrane with the sum of the located with the disposal fo facility footprint of the last shake collection to the trench of the geomembrane should include with the GCL with the saturated with the hydrological conductor that be less than or equal to one times the negative seven um, cm um, centimeter second if it completed with the clay liner with the maximum minimum thick thickness of the saturated hydraulic conductor be less of the equal than ten one times ten to the negative seven centimeter second of the sink liner should in place when the prepared some variable that will not damage the geomembrane of the liner of the or the GCL the premier last shake collection Collection of the removal system of the drainage layer shall be installed the geomembrane liner. Except in the sump of the last shake control action, trench of the system shall be designed to limit the last shake head above the liner during the routine facility operative placement. Initial cover is not greater than 12 inch linear sh system. The last shake collection system must be constructed in accordance with the rules in paragraph 60 to 6, uh, paragraph 701403A, D, and E, and F, the subject in 6701407 and 8. Any alternative linear system shall be approved in accordance with the provision 6701 Florida Administration Code. C. The um, last shake shall be managed in accordance with the subsection 6271508 with the last shake storage tanks and surface in time with the construction of the operative facility should comply with the requirements of 6271406. Owner operation requirements to owners and operators construction of demolition debris disposal facilities shall comply with the following requirements. 
Operation describe the facility. Operation maintenance emergency contingency plan type of the equipment that will be used to keep the facility at all times made available for inspection. Operation plan describe the method of inspect sequence filling of filings waste for the shell state with the maximum allowable lift w- lifted weight depth and shall not exceed ten feet unless authorized by the operation plan lift the depth of the greater than ten feet allowed main depending on the specific operation daily volume waste the width of the workforce the gate or safety practice for the activity the way um facility shall be performed in accordance with the plan permanent condition of the plan shall be updated with the operation change but not less than frequently every five years the operation permit shall be modified to reflect substantive changes to the plan other than required of the routine b the construction and demolition to breathe the compact with the slope during the life of the facility to ensure that the requirements of subject and nine for the section that can be met the schedule compact and grading with the skin included with the operation the external slope slope for the, all the disposable units shall be no greater than three feet of the horizontal to one foot vertical right the vet work face and the internal slope of the disposable units shall be no greater than um, three feet horizontal one foot vertical rise unless the responsible in accordance with the event provided with the um, operational for the fire that is constructed with the sleep of the sloped areas. Access disposal vertical shall be control, controlled by the during the design period of the facility fencing and the other effect of the barriers, the disposal of solid waste, the construction, demolition debris. Signs including indicating the name of the operation authority, track of the flow, traffic flow, and hours of operation restriction condition of the disposal as opposed to the operation spotters employed by the facility are properly trained in accordance with the paragraphs uh, subsection 6701-320-15. Florida Administration Code of Trainers, operator shall be duty of the facility, all types of the facility, and operation addition with sufficient number. Spotters should be should be on duty to the working phase and inspect the incoming t- waste for the all taste wa- time waste waste and being accepted with the site of the waste shall be inspected by the after it is removed the transport vehicle prior to the placement of the final disposal. Unauthorized waste shall be removed the waste stream and placed in the appropriate containers secure storage for the, any of the disposal recycling in the facility unauthorized it was authorized by the department to receive the such waste. The facility shall be operated with the containing objectionable order with the accordance with the 6229 Florida Administration Code. The objectionable order is detected by the off site with the owner operator should comply with the requirements of paragraph 62701. 533B. For the administration of fuel, slob, and lubricants, other materials that should be stored in secure air or secure to the disposal and storing areas. Plastic and plastic buckets may be accepted to the facility unless they contain liquid other than water than they arrived. However, they can may contain the hardened paint or tar, cement, or similar non hazardous material. H. Carpet, um, carpet remnants uh, um, that are a construction demolition project of the carpet manufacturer must be accepted to the facility. All right, CCA treated wood will be, um, which shall be managed by the provided with the subsection 20 of the section. And um, if deregulated hazardous waste discovered in proper disposal of the facility, facility owner operator should properly notify the, the department and person responsible shipping the waste. The facility generated the waste and known for the area where the waste is positive shall be immediately corned off of the public access of the generator. Hauler can be uh, not be identified. The facility owner operator shall keep, ensure the cleanup of the transportation disposal waste of the permitted hazardous waste management facility. All right, K, the owner and operator shall make the arrangements, shall have the equipment of the temporary storage handling of the transportation authorized disposal of the recycling facility of the solid waste other construction demolition to breathe that they advertently accepted by the facility, size of waste with the acceptable facility, segregated with the disposal in accordance with the character of 62701. One less of the alternative schedule that include the operational plan of the permanent application will provide the control order the vectors and producible waste shall not be stored no longer than 48 hours. No producible waste shall not be stored longer than 30 days. The hazardous waste is received. The facility managed in accordance with the Paris Vision 62730 Florida Administration Code. At one of the disposal unit is the construction of the linear last shade collection system on the first layer of the waste with the bla- placed above the linear of shell minimum of the four feet with the compact the thickness of the consisting selected waste containing no large rigid objects of the damaged liner and last shade collection systems. Water quality monitoring. Water quality monitoring plan meets with the criteria set for 6270 with the chapter 62520, which shall include the permanent application plan shall implemented and maintained by the owner and operator shall conclude the provision of provision provided with the reports required pair and subsequent regard 6270 with the following exemptions. Less disposal units of construction of the operator with the 200 feet of the surface of water and the less site specific um, conditions could responsibly be expected to result in contamination of surface water body or surface water sampling is not required for the purpose of the paragraph of surface water body does not include the body with the water contaminated completely with the property boundaries the disposal site that does not discharge the site of the surface waters. The well spacing requirements, um, so pair of 6270 3D and 3 of the one administration goes down to apply minimum up, up, one up gradient and two down gradient wells is required and specified in Chapter 62520. Projection wells and compliance wells are applicable will be sampled and analyzed at least to MLA for the following. Field parameters, pH, turbidity, temperature, specific conductivity, dissolved oxygen, water of the elevation, color sheens, laboratory, lab, laboratory parameters, aluminum colorides, nitro, nitrate, sulfite, total dissolved solids, iron, and sodium. 
By observation, arsenic, cadmium, chromium, lead, lead, mercury, total anonium, z lines, and parameters listed in the Environmental Protection Agency's method 601 and 602. All right, background water shall be the established in accord with the provision paragraph 6701510.5b with the Florida Administration's gun separate analysis shall be included with the sulfate and aluminum addition with the background detection well shall be sampled analyzed at least once every five years for the parameters listed in paragraph 6701510.7a for the all sulfates and aluminum. The owner and operative facility may request the permanent modification that appropriate to the district office of the department to leave specific laboratory parameters the field parameters for the routine analysis of the detection compliance wells and the surface waters. The department will grant the request of the modification upon the demonstration of the parameters is not responsible to expect to derive the waste which will receive the disposal facility. If the monitoring parameter is detected with the monitoring wells concentration which is significant with the background water with which quantity, quality, which level the Department of Water Quality and Criteria specified in 62520 with the Florida Administration Code, the provision with the paragraph 62 7010 6 for the show apply with the nine closure. At least 10, 90 days prior to the date of the waste, the no longer accepted the owner and operative construction demolition disposal facility shall be submitted to update of the closure of the department that reflect the change for the closure. Closure plan due to the actual operational condition of the facility. Unforeseen circumstances do not, notifi- do not allow notification of the 90 days prior to the seizing of the receiving of the waste. The notice shall provide as soon as the need to close the facility become apparent. The update and the proof of the closure plan shall be incorporated into and made a part of the permit. Final cover the sheeting of the planning of the vegetative cover that shall be placed on each of the disposal unit within 100 days after the reach of the final grave of each of the receiving of the receiving of the waste for the final cover that shall exist 45 of 24 inches of the thick soil layer of the 33 inch thick layer consisting of approximately 50% soil and 50% ground chipyard of the trash of the volume of the upper 6 inches of which shall be capable of supporting vegetation shall be graded with the compactable necessary and limiting pounding of the promoting damage and minimizing erosion if the disposal unit with the construction of the linear system the final cover that must be included with the barrier layer permittable substantial equivalent or less than permittable the bottom layer cinnamon system meets the alternative bare layer bare layer design requirements of subparagraph 627016603 g6 the side slope of the above grade disposal unit shall be not greater than three feet horizontal to one foot vertical the disposal unit line is the closure design shall include the barrier layer other measures to ensure the design lash head over the liner is not exceeding or if the closure of the final cover shall be vegetated control control erosion of the disposal unit with the above ground shall be designed to control flow of storm water such as Building of reverse sloping benches and chair- terraces and the side slope of the disposal units and such containing the draining down slope of the drain waste water flow of the any energy dissipators unless the reason- reasonable assurance is provided with the adequate erosion control with that achieved in the absence of such measures. See any disposal unit designed with the geo membrane with the barrier barrier bar, 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 barrier level shall have the gas management installed with the during closure design reduce the pressure in the interior of the disposal unit to prevent the failure of the final core of the gas management may be the active and passive of the active system shall be designed with the operator with the manner with the prevents the intrusion of the ambient air with the disposal unit placement of the final core that may be delayed with additionally um, waste of the disposal of the dis- 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 deposited with the disposal unit within five years but only the disposal unit with the temporary closure in accordance with the proof of the closure plan condition temporary closure shall include the disposal unit with the construction compliance for the permit application through the scheduled temporary final closure shown in the closure plan three final three the final closure over installed in the side slopes east of the completed disposal unit which will not receive additional waste odors and runoff over control closure and cost estimate of the account with the other temporary closures and well cost of the final closure Six, an intermediate cover that is installed with the disposal unit within 30 days of the innocence accepting the waste. Um, the intermediate cover that may be removed and placing additional waste in installing the cover. The E, the owner and operator should provide certification of the closure of certain trucks and completion of the department within 30 days after the closing covering seating of the disposal unit. The owner and operator shall provide a final survey report done with a provisional survey with the corners of paragraph 6270-1600-ZXB. The disposal operation received raised by the final evaluation of the higher than tw- 20, 20 feet above the natural land surface. Upon receiving approval of the Documentation required with the paragraph D of the subsection of the department shall within 30 days acknowledge the later than it or the termination operation closing of the facility has been received. The date of the letter should be the official date of the closing, the proposing, the determining long term care period, accordance with subsection 6701608D. Um, Florida Administration, the declaration of the public the closure and the operation approved the department of the facility owner and operator shall follow. File the uh, declaration public with the deed of the record of the office of the county clerk within the facility is located with the declaration, including the legal description of property property of the facility located with the site plan, specific area of the actual field with the construction and demolition of the declaration. Also, included notifying that any of the future owner of the off site should conduct with the department prior to the planning initiating any of the activity involving the disturbance of the facility of the monitoring system and the other controls. So, uh, the construction the certified uh, copy of the declaration shall be filled with the department. 
Long term care, the owner and operator of the construction demolition debris disposal facility shall continue to monitor and maintain integrity, effectiveness, final cover, as well as the prudence of the facility, control erosion, final, final substances, with the control of objection order, the implement order, of notification of the plan meets the requirements of paragraph 6271533B, but the Florida administration is required to comply with the water quality monitoring plan for the five years day of the closing. For the expiration of long term care monitoring plan, this plan, the Deborah Department may extend the time of the period water quality control system, indicate the facility can then continue the impact of the water quality concentrates, which may be expected with the result of the violation of the Department of Water Quality Standard for the criteria, site specifications, conditions may likely to contamination and eliminate from the disposal area would not detect the long term care provider. Here, the final coverage does not have the established vegetation shows signs of continuing significant erosion problems. The other permit team has not performed all the required monitoring maintenance. Art 11, financial assurance, closure cost estimate update, the financial mechanism shall comply with the provision of subsection 6271 1 through 4, except for the cost of long term shall be based upon the five year period. The cost shall be based on compliance with the section. The landfill should be made in the facility. The local government that's required the financial assurance the closure will release the drain with the required with the rule. The department is attempted to establish the cooperative mechanism the local government thereby avoid duplicate financial requirements. C, the owner operated the facility required for the undertake the corrective action program that comes with paragraph 6271 7388F. She'll submit a submit um proof of the financial assurance of the Department of Courts with subject in 6070-1637-8 and D and 9 of the Florida Administration No Codes no later than 120 days after the corrective action of the remedy has been selected. For long term care is extended because of the permanent has been um failed to perform in all required monitoring and maintenance during the long term care period. The financial assurance shall continue required during the extended long term care. The long term care extended within any other region financial assurance is not required during the extended Long-term care period, except that is required in paragraph C of the subsection annual report, the owner and operator of the facility shall submit the annual report of the Department of Bureau Paragraph Form 6701907, but the report shall include the summary of the amount of the type of the waste, the disposal, recycled, the county of the origin material that recycled, statement of the county of origin unknown shall be included, the report that shall be submitted with the February 1st each of the year shall other cover the preceding year. Three, recycling, the owner and operator of the facility, except for the construction and demolition debris with the disposal, all the recovered the material with the construction and demolition debris with the waste stream of the purpose of the recycling shall be Meet the requirements of the section was well with the requirements of Rule 6270-1710 for the Florida Administration Code. If the conflict between the section and Rule 6270-1710, Florida Administration Code shall be um, section shall go It is not necessary for the owner and operator to apply with a separate permit with the waste processing facility or to pay the additional fee. The owner and operator of the facility recovered the material for the construction and demolition debris with the waste stream for the purpose of the recycling and does not dispose of any of the waste on the outside with the supply shall permit the Rule si Form 6270-1904 and the comply with the provision of 6270-1710. In order to result Use the recovered screen material other than the cleaning debris for the construction, demolition, debris, waste of the stream. The owner operated with the shell demonstrated the material managed for the reuse of the manner will pose no significant threat to the public health environment. Making the demonstration, the owner and operator with the main concern of the background level levels receiving the soil which material was blended with other materials. Likelihood of the material I may have the unlimited distribution comes direct contact with the public example. The management practices would be not required to analyze for the health of based on the criteria with including the permit can capsulization initial and intermediate with cover of the surface construction and permit. Landfill or use the light under the light, at least 20 feet of the clean and covered material. The pat, metal pat, paper, pla, pla, glass, plastic, textile, rubber materials that have been diverted and sourced and separated that have been removed from the other construction, demolition debris with waste, the stream with the sale for use for the reuse of raw materials may be managed and recovered. The materials, other materials may be as diverted and sourced and separated that have been removed from the construction, demolition debris, waste, the stream may be used in solid, use or reuse material. Materials demonstration of the material will not pose a no significant threat to public health and environment. All right, the owner and operator with the permanent materials recovered the disposal facility, except for the dedicated dedicated loads of construction demolition debris, but the show ensure this material the process extent with the economical fees of removal of the recyclable materials prior to the disposal. But the owner and operator shall successfully show evaluate the economic feasibility processing the removed the recycled materials prior to the disposal. Shall certify that they evaluated the economical feasibility processing construction demolition debris certification indicated with the economic factors considered with the evaluation of the type of the construction demolition debris that will be evaluated whether to determine with the processing to remove the recycled materials prior to the disposal of the economic feasible evaluation certification the documentation form 6271 certification economical feasibility prior process C and D debris prior to disposal effective date March 12, 2016 hereby adopted and incorporated the reference copy of the forms available to the local district office of the written Department of Environmental Protection Solid Waste Section MS 4565-2600 Blairstone Road Tallahassee Florida 32399-2400 the certification will be completed no later than September 9th of the 2016 existing facility prior to the operation new facility 
On the after March 13th, 2016, add their evaluation certification will be completed at least annual when open and operated becomes in change of the condition, but they will believe warrant discontinuation process to remove recycled materials and prior to the disposal owner and operator may temporarily discontinue such processing for a period up to 12 months. However, the such change condition is incorporated with the next evaluation certification form 6701-936. The application of each evaluation certification shall compete. Captain Facilia made available to the department upon request along with the supporting documentation issuing considering the course of the of the economic evaluation owner and operator determined the economical feasible to process some of the other materials being accepted the material currently be not being accepted then such of the materials should be processed prior to the disposal removal of the fraction recyclability material extent with the economical feasible no later than three months after the completion of any of the processes change when identified by the owner and operator with the part of the associated economic feasible evaluation re, um, re, reporting the amount of the recovered material separated with the waste stream with the continuing to provide with the corners for the requirements of paragraphs to chapter 6722 with the uh, Florida Ministry because of other reference provisions 6722 of the Florida Administration of the paragraph does not apply to recovered materials, materials that have been previously been source, source separated with the office offered for recycling. Three materials that have previously processed removed the recycled materials for off site disposal yard trash authorized with the rule 6701803 with the incineration facility employed for the air curtain incinerator. They also ensure the disposal construction and demolition debris with the show me with the permit requirements to rule 6256700 as well as the section. 15. Clean debris may be used for the fill, the raw materials, any other area, including water state, and subject to the receipt of the environmental resource permit of the department where applicable clean debris of the fill or material not solid waste. Such uh, such use does not require solid waste to permit under this rule. Um, landfill disposal of construction, demolition debris, disposal of the permanent left landfill, however, these for the county with may be segregated and disposed by any of the area of the construction, demolition debris, the cover of the requirements segregated with the construction, demolition debris, disposable area of the permitted landfill should be used in the subsection 9 of this land section. Permitted in accordance with Rule 6270 which have the construction, demolition debris, the disposal of the recycling facilities included with the parts for the permitted conditions is not required to submit the separate part and permit application financial assurance documentation under this section. 17. On site disposal. Um, is construction demolition debris on site uh, of this disposal on the property where it's generated on the property adjacent with the contingency of the under the common one ownership of the control of the property where the waste is generated except for the requirements of section rule 6270 without if there's any disposal subsection to prohibition rule 6270-300. All the waste should be inspected in general and spotted with the prior to disposal, either the point of the generation and either the disposal. Ensure the unauthorized waste is removed with the waste of the stream prior to disposal will manage from the Department of the Final Cover the Seating of the Belay and planning of the vegetative cover that shall be placed in each of the disposal within a hundred days after the final receipt of the final cover that shall commit and consist of the twenty eight inch thick layer soil, upper six inches which was capable of supporting vegetation and be greater than come back to the necessary to eliminate hunting and promote damage, minimizing erosion of the side slope of the above grade the disposed area is not greater than three feet horizontal one foot vertical. Rise. 18. Disposal restriction. Construction and demolition debris may be disposed of and only in accordance with one of the methods authorized in addition for the disposal area should be operated with adverse, adverse environmental public health impacts such as the blowing litter and vectors that are minimized up behind the discovery of the permanent facility has been disposed of the solid waste outside of the permitted dimensions. The owner and the operator shall notify the department in three working days of the discovery if the way is, is not relocated permanent um, dimension of the facility. 30 days of discovery the, upon the department of the facility shall not accept any waste of the facility compliance with the permitted dimension. Mentions that asbestos waste disposal asbestos waste containing the materials regulated in Title 40 CFR Part 61 Subpart so M shall not be disposed of the construction demolition debris the disposal unit. 20. CCA treated wood. The owner and operator of the facility, except for the disposal facility constructor and linear system, shall design and implement a CCA treated wood management plan. This plan shall be designed to minimize the amount of CCA treated wood in the, that is delivered to the facility. This must describe the procedure operator will not make the reasonable effort to separate the CCA treated wood from the other waste for the facility. CCA treated wood is separated from the other waste for the facility and should not be disposed of uh, on any online solid waste disposal facility. Um, 21. Alternate re procedure. The owner and operator of the facility may request the alternate procedure requirements in accordance with Rule 6270-1310. However, the request is based on the nature of construction demolition debris accepted with the facility exempt. The facility exempt with the segregated waste accepted to have minimal environmental impact. The request is submitted with the action of the approved open district office. The department need not to be accompanied by any additional fee. 
Rule making authority 4030 Florida law 4030 Florida history news August 2nd, um, 1989, formerly 1770 amended to January 6th, 1993, formerly 1770 amended to December 23rd, 1996, April 23rd, 1997, May 27th, 2001, January 6th, 2010, August 12th, 2012, June 11, 2015, and March, March um, 13, 2016. All right. Let's see if this will change view. All right, 62701 general permit of the offside disposal of the yard trash, and that will be the next tape.